Infinity 2 family, welcome back to another reading. <clears throat> so, this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everybody, but if it resonates with you, hit that thumbs up, hit that bell, and subscribe. So, as I'm shuffling the deck, I keep um, seeing the Frog Princess and the High Priestess of Time. And then um, I keep seeing like lost magic or something like that lost magic okay where is it at i just saw it lost magic well i'm we're gonna see what's going on with this fog princess when it comes to this high priestess okay because to me i'm getting here like this is the person that is copying off of you or this is the person that is trying to compete with you or this is the person that thinks that you think you're better than them. Okay, that's what I'm hearing here. This is the person that thinks that you think you're better than them in some type of way. 21, 23 could be significant. You could be maybe two, three years older than this person or two, three steps ahead of this person is what I'm getting to as well, okay? Something about something is a dark situation. This is a dark situation here between the two of you or the, between this frog princess and this high priestess, okay? There's something dark between, like, some type of lost magic. Something had to be rebalanced. Something was exposed, okay? Yeah, because cast away out of your depth, feeling abandoned. Look, an ending, so something ended here or something was exposed when it came to these to these two and somebody else. Somebody was very sad about something here when it comes to the frog princess and the high priestess. Like I said, say what resonate, this is not gonna resonate with everybody. It's something about you in a contract with someone. And it's also something about you having a contract in the ethers, like, with the most high. Okay, so in the spiritual realm, whatever is going on in the spiritual realm is going to be going on in the physical realm as well. So you have a spiritual contract and you have a physical contract. Some of you could be still contracted with somebody or something. See, gifts. You see what I'm saying? It's something about your gifts and the ethers. It's something about your abundance. It's something about you being able to find solutions in unknown places or in the darkness. Somebody knows that you have this light, this masculine. This is the masculine that's in between these two, these two energies here, the frog princess and the high priestess. This masculine wants some type of forgiveness from you or wants you to forgive them for something that this person has done or is doing. They could be in a sea of, of tears right now because something has come to an end, okay? Somebody also knows that this person here did something towards you, okay? That's what I'm seeing here, that is causing both of them karma right now. I'm telling you, a message, mercury, travel, communication, somebody wants to speak with you or somebody wants to communicate with you in some type of way. Yeah, but your third eye is open. See, some this is somebody that's still in a north node. This could be this masculine or this frog princess when it comes to you high priestess. But we're going to see because I'm about to ask. Okay, yeah, Holy Spirit said that's the truth. That is the truth. Okay, clarify this frog princess when it comes to this high priestess. Some about your self worth. Okay, this masculine sees that you have self worth. All right, and they see that you have a certain type of expectations. This frog princess see that this masculine sees that about you. 
Okay? Yeah. And this is causing a storm in their life. This is causing a storm in their life. An unexpected storm triggers triggers disharmony and conflict. This is what this is what's happening in this frog princess life. This frog princess knows that this masculine wants a renewal with you. They want to start something new with you. A new spark. That's what they, what I'm seeing here. And they are going through a storm. So tell me about this high priestess when it comes to the frog princess. The high priestess, the high priestess knows 555 on his clock that this frog princess knows that this masculine don't want to separate from them. This this high priestess knows that this frog princess knows what was going on. They know that this cycle is completed. They know that you don't want nothing to do with this masculine. That's what I'm seeing here. This frog princess does know that. Okay, this frog princess knows that this person has been trying to tap into your dreams as well. That's why something backfired. Because this person was trying to tap into your dreams, trying to use something um, to get into your dream state. See, this frog princess knows that this masculine still wants to co-create with you. They have compassion. You could be co-parenting with this person. They want to nurture you. This person could also know that there's somebody else in your life as well. That's what I'm saying here. Yeah. And that's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini energy, air energy. Can never make it up. The truth is right behind it. And so now this person is seeing... The frog princess is seeing something clear about this masculine that has been in darkness. This masculine wants forgiveness from somebody. This frog princess could be in a sea of tears right now, feeling abandoned, feeling cast away. This is the karmic. That's what I'm really seeing here. When they could have wanted you to feel like this, they could have wanted you to be in it in some tears. This is tears right here. This is tears right here. They were projecting this onto you, high priestess, for you to feel sad or for you to feel some type of way this weekend. I, I heard this weekend. Yeah, when it comes to, they wanted you to avoid some seeds, or they wanted you to avoid your kids, or they wanted you to be a stalemate, but something is a stalemate in this situation. Yeah, because you're a divine feminine. You're the feminine. Look how bright that's getting. Wow. Yeah, your energy is very bright. I'm seeing here you're an alchemist. Let's go ahead and pull some of these planet house sign cards. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, clarify the frog princess self-worth, disharmony, triggers, and control, conflict. Neptune, this is Pisces energy. Neptune, confusion regarding. So some, so she has, so this energy here, frog princess has confusion regarding some type of energy when it comes to this high priestess and this masculine. I'm also seeing here, yeah, this person was a sacrifice. This fall princess was a sacrifice. Clarify the high priestess when it comes to this uh, frog princess. Clarify the high priestess. The North Node. There will be success from benefit. This person, this frog princess knows that this masculine energy wants to benefit from this high priest. Or this high priestess. Tenth house. Success. Responsibility. Become a person of power and status. So this frog princess is in some type of disharmony and conflict with this masculine. 
due to the fact that this high priestess here has responsible is responsible has success and is a person or becoming a person of power and status so this is what the situation is. Put yourself where you are. You know who you are in this situation, okay? Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But it looks like that um, this karmic knows that this masculine knows that they have no self-respect or no self-worth. This person here could be stalking somebody and the masculine could be known that, the, that this karmic is stalking this high priestess. Okay, this masculine could also know that this uh, frog princess tried to do spell work on this high priestess. This masculine also knows that this that this um, karmic is trying to do something when it comes to their relationship with this high priestess. This masculine 1101 knows that. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this masculine. Tell me about this masculine energy, Holy Spirit, that wants to be that wants to apologize or be forgiven. In Virgo, this could be somebody that's a Virgo, the serving of others, or there could be a Virgo involved between these two feminine energies. Yeah, there could be a Virgo involved into these two feminine energies that's telling this masculine to apologize or um, they doing too much or, you know, they could be, this person could be analyzing this situation as well, this Virgo energy, because they know that this masculine is seeking oneness. Tell me about this masculine energy. This masculine could be a Pisces or could be dealing with a Pisces. Look, your dreams. Somebody wants to be a part of your dreams. You could be a Pisces or this masculine could be a Pisces or they could be dealing with a Pisces. But they're in their self note. They are in their self note. They're remembering who you were and they're reconsidering this relationship that they got into with this karmic. And now is not the time. They feel now is not the time for you to worry about this type of situation. That's what I'm seeing here. Because they're aware. They're aware of it. That's what I'm saying. This is an unusual situation, or somebody is very unusual, is what I'm hearing here. Like they're weird. They're weird, is what I'm hearing here, okay? It's on, let me pull some more energy. Let's see what, what, let's see about this situation from the past life deck, okay? Let's get some information from the past life's deck. When it's concerning this frog princess, this high priestess, and this masculine. Clarify this frog princess. This could be a mother. Okay. This this um frog princess, like I said, is aware about this high priestess being a psychic or you know having gifts. This person knows about this person having gifts. Tell me about this frog princess when it comes to this high priestess. This frog princess thinks about you all day long, high priestess. That's what I'm saying here. This frog princess may think that they're a high priestess, is, is what I'm seeing here as well. This person did something when it comes to a death. This person knows some information about a death or this person knows that you know some situation, high priestess, the psychic about a death. About somebody's past over loved one. Mm -hmm, that's what I'm seeing here. Death again. Look at this. Death. Suicide. A fall of a civilization. 
greed. So this fog princess knows that somebody passed away and somebody is greedy, okay? Somebody made somebody, yeah, and they're obsessed. Obsession. They're spying on this high priestess. This person is spying on this high priestess, y'all. Okay, let's clarify the high priestess now. This fog princess, think about this high priestess all day because this high priestess is a psychic and she says something about a death. Somebody is very greedy or this fog princess is very greedy and they are obsessed with this high priestess here. Look, this person has been physically abused. But when it comes to the high priestess, this fog princess knows that this high priestess has been physically abused. Okay? Abusive relationship. They could have been in an abusive relationship with this masculine. Tell me about the high priestess. Tell me about the high priestess. This high priestess is an adventurer. Okay, this person travels a lot and they take adventures. They definitely could could be an explorer and they're extraterrestrial. This high priestess is not from here. This high priestess is otherworldly. Okay, they are um, a watcher or a guardian. This high priestess is. This high priestess is a traveler of dimensions. This high priestess is also an artist. They're a natural artist, a professional artist. This person here is a model, and this person here could be a writer. So this person, this fog princess is obsessed with this high priestess. That's what I'm seeing here. And this high priestess, she, this, this energy here has been abused in the past. This person is an explorer. Now they're an adventurer. They are extraterrestrial. And this person is an artist. Okay. That's what I'm seeing here. Now tell us about this masculine. Somebody is insane. Somebody is insane or somebody is trying to make it seem like somebody is insane. That's what it says here. Insanity. Tell us about this masculine. Tell us about the masculine energy. Wow, a lot came out. This person did something when it comes to the law. This person could have did something that now they need a lawyer or something like that. This person is exile. Okay, look, communication. They changed some type of document. Somebody, this this masculine is a masculine that is deceitful. They did something in court. They changed the document. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? Astral experience. This person does magic and they come and visit you in your dreams. Okay. They want you to they want y'all to have some type of astral experience. Okay. Because remember what happened in the spiritual realm happens in the physical realm. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. This person is a victim of childhood trauma. This masculine is this person has been abused, abandoned, or um kidnapped or sold at an early age okay this person had things done to them as a child as a early, at an early age as well you and this person could have a romance together okay this could this person had a romance with somebody they know that you're their true love okay this person knows that you're their true love that's what i'm seeing here this masculine they know that somebody is their true love they have been star-crossed by this energy. This could be the high priestess. That's what I'm getting here. And now somebody is drowning in their emotions or they don't know how to swim or there's some type of disaster between um, them. And I'm, I'm thinking this is, the, this is the disaster between both of these feminine energies. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. Because somebody is very intellectual, very knowledgeable, okay? It could be this masculine. This masculine could be very intellectual, very knowledgeable. Somebody also works in the industry or in some type of industry. That's what I'm seeing here, this masculine. 
something is magic based that's what i'm also seeing here too this this masculine is magic based or they do things magic based okay something to, oh, i'm not even gonna say that part all right last but not least let's go ahead and post some monology before we get up out of here So this situation is a stalemate between this frog princess and this masculine. This masculine is wanting to get back to the high priestess or wants to have a romance with this high priestess. That's what I'm seeing here. Somebody is um, very obsessed with... Both of these people are obsessed with you, high priestess. That's what I'm seeing here. This karmic and this masculine. And there has been a twist in the tail. Look, a time to give rather than take. Okay? A time to give rather than take. Virgo energy. So there. this Virgo has a lot to do with this situation as well, is what I'm seeing here. There's a Virgo involved. What do you need to release? 2112 on this clock. Okay, somebody needs to release this Virgo or this Virgo needs to release themselves out of this situation is what I'm hearing here. Okay, yeah, because they don't have no space in this relationship or in this situation is what I'm hearing here. Okay, prosperity lies ahead. Because so this all this has to do with money. All right, prosperity lies ahead though. So remember that whatever come of this situation is going to be profitable and abundant. Anything else for the monology? Yeah, this is a time for healing. So you just step back, take your time, and heal from this situation. Whichever aspect of the situation that you find yourself in, just take a step back and heal from this, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, we have Pisces energy, and it says balance, spirituality, and practicality, full moon in Pisces. So there you have it. Believe in the impossible. Your hard work is paying off. There is going to be adjustments that come from the situation. Okay. And in your in your current lifetime, I'm seeing here right now, you're going to be celebrating soon and very soon. So I hope that this message resonated with you and somebody else is going to be feeling enslaved too. Mm -mm -mm. due to some type of technology but we're gonna get into that yeah because they were a swindler what and a victim of sexual assault but y'all stay tuned for my next video because i guess we'll have to talk about that then all right thank you for tuning in see you in my next one peace